Hello there boys and girls, I really hope you've been good because I want you to come and join me as we check out the Christmas bonus from Studio 397 in the form of the all new Vauxhall Astra BTCC Touring Car. The track temp is 26, the air temp is 26 Celsius, 10 laps. Here we go, this is a sunny Thruxton and we are at the back of a BTC grid in the brand new Vauxhall Astra touring car and we're going to have a quick 10 minute race sorry 10 lap race around this beautiful fast and flowing circuit I believe this is the fastest circuit that the uh, BTCC cars visit Still there. all season Oh, and these lightweight, skippy little tin tops. Clear left. They are a little bit of a handful around the back section of the circuit when we are absolutely flat out. Now we're taking it steady here for the first lap or two due to cold tyres. You're in the middle. Clear left. Oh, ho, ho. driving God. Right, okay. That's gained us a few positions. It's now 42 Celsius. I'm running the new 2022 livery pack as well. Which was part of the uh, bonus Christmas uh, content drop. So, what did we get? Well, we got the Porsche uh, Cup car, which I'm going to make another video about because it is fantastic. But we got this nice one, Jason. Vauxhall Astra BTCC car, along with all the uh, 2022 liveries for the cars that have been released so far. And in a, a dev blog, we also found out that the uh, hybrid system is going to be fully, into, fully implemented in the uh, Q1 2023 build. So we don't have to wait long for that to add in the hybrid tactical element that was uh, brought into the touring car series for 2022. Right, so let's talk about this Vauxhall Astra that was part of this uh, bonus Christmas drop. The car in front of us is now well, I've got to say, I am a little bit of a fan of this car because uh, you know after following Jason Plato through his many years in the touring car series he did have a few years behind the wheel of this uh, Astra and it's always interesting to uh, get to drive the car that uh, <coughs> one of your touring car heroes drove in real life and I got the so they just Studio 397 just keep knocking it out of the park with each new build, new content release. This car feels so alive, so dynamic. I'm constantly having to work at the throttle with the steering wheel. I'm having to balance the car, especially around these fast sections. I can feel it's right on the edge all the time. And the, you know, okay, Jason, the, the, well, the, the tyre model, the physics model, the force feed map model, yeah, this is our factor too, you know, the, the qualities that, the, that this sim has in that regard are unprecedented. You know, and it's really starting to shine and come through. Clear left. That's barely a scratch, mate. Just ignore it. Yeah, we always pick up a scratch or two when we're touring car. But the BMW have been my favourite car so far, but. Wow. Has this really just. Oh, thrown a spanner in the works, and clear left. We think that 
Matt Patterson has crashed. There's an infinity uh, on its roof. Somebody's got a little too aggressive on the curbs. The AI do have a little bit of an issue with the curbs around this Thruxton circuit. And if they grab too much, they do tend to flip. Now, it doesn't seem to matter how hard I hit the, hit the curbs. I've never managed to uh, flip my car, but the AI get a little uh, overly excited. Uh, I don't know if they overcorrect correct and the car snaps I don't know but I'm sure studio 397 are aware of it and it's on their list of do's and to do's and they'll update the AI in a hot fix as we go along but I don't think we're gonna see much for the next few days being that it's Christmas but you know it's a shame that we only got the one touring car here just for Christmas you know, we're still missing the uh, the Cupra and the big elephant in the room is that Honda. They seem to be really slow to want to release a new okay, BTCC just Honda. Keep it you know, no we've got the age old one in the game, but it's such a different spec and of a different era that you can't really mix it in with these new cars. Oh, you really feel that back end at high speed I got uh, a trusty old V1 Accuforce uh, direct drive wheel and I'm telling you now it is a workout around this Thruxton circuit with this front wheel drive car we've got to run we're gonna go three wide we're gonna take the two beamers clear left car left clear left left side Whoa, we're just going to give Turkington a little love tap there. The These uh, range of UK circuits that uh, 397 have been releasing throughout uh, 2022 really go well with these touring cars and I have never played R Factor 2 so much in my entire life as I have throughout 2022. And, uh, you know, I've had my trials and tribulations with it. I had my ups and downs, including with this latest new build. Uh, there must have been a slight change somewhere, but I could bind my brake. But do you think I could get the brake pedal to, you know, register a percentage so I had to fiddle around and rebind everything and set everything up but my brake is working fine again now so first little blip I've had really since the big build where we went over to the new UI I haven't had an issue since then but it took a, it took a day but I've solved it, cured it my brake is now working again. Oh, look at this. Just throw it in. Now, I know there's a lot of debate going around about motorsport games, and and I always bring it up in my R Factor 2 videos. I know everybody's not very happy at necessarily what's going on with the parent company, how it's doing business, and the way that they're drip feeding BTCC content to us, you know. Yet, yeah, I do find it a little frustrating, and it, you know, isn't ideal, and it's not how I'd want to see the content be released to the community. And I know that, you know, We'll probably end up having a bite all again if they ever get round to releasing a standalone touring car title. Clear left, push, push, push. We can catch this car. But you know, I've I've thought about it, and I sort of squared it in my head that you know I'm not going to get bogged down with the do's and don'ts, the rights and wrongs of the various companies that are involved in the chain. I like R Factor too. I like touring cars. And clear left. 
car left. Ooh, I'm able to get enjoyment out of the cars that I buy. I can get my, you know, the value out of them. So I don't feel like I'm losing anything. And if we do get the full suite of cars and tracks anyway, well, is there any point in buying a standalone game? I suppose they might add in the ability to, you know, do a whole season, put together a career. I don't know. You know, at the moment, R Factor 2 doesn't have that. You just jump in and do a series of individual races, which is a shame. Titles like um, Race Room, which have a lot of TCR content in, they allow you to put together custom seasons, custom championships. You know, whether we get that in R Factor 2, I don't know. Whether that's a a feature that's only going to come in the standalone titles. A bit cheeky there. It took a bit of curve but got away with it. The gap's now 0.3. P4, two laps remaining. But yeah, you have to make a decision on what you think's right and whether you want to support, you know, these the devs of this particular title or company with your money you know Left side. that's a personal decision Still there. I've made my peace with it I've decided that I'm not going to deny myself the opportunity to race the, the latest specification touring cars in a sim that I've grown to really enjoy so I, I've gone ahead and purchased the content and I am glad I did. None of the touring car content, including tracks as well as cars, have disappointed me at all. They've all been top quality, absolutely fantastic. And this has got to be some of the best front wheel drive content that you can get in any sim racing title available on the PC in 2022. Bold claim, but I, I'm going to stand by it. Bring it on home. Yeah, I mean, you can feel the curves, you can feel the effect it has. It unsettles the car. And it's, you know, but the physics model is so good that, you know, what you see, what you feel. So good, so quick, so accurate that you're able to respond to it, you're able to react to it, and it makes for such a pleasurable driving experience. It's just just it's awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, 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 went in a little bit too hot there couldn't quite make the apex I thought I was going to throw it all away right on the last lap in we go into the she came for the last time mull of the curves oh. oh you feel the understeer the torque nice one oh, lovely well, again, this was another video where I was going to talk about the new cars, the new content. That oh, I've just rambled on. But why not? Why not? Right, so. That was my uh, my little go in the new Vauxhall Astra around Thruxton in R Factor 2. If you are into tin tops, if you love your touring cars, if you're into BTCC like I am in a big way I'm gonna say it's a buy just buy it you will not regret it you'll get enough enjoyment out of it to justify the cost of it and remember low fuel motorsports are running a British touring car online series so you can always find competitive busy grids to race these things online with so you know Online, offline, you're going to get your money's worth and you're going to get a ton of fun. All right. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, there's a button just for that. And, uh, you know, if you want to see more tin top content, 
please consider a sub. And uh, coming up now is uh, my video where I take a look at the uh, BMW, which was in the last content drop for R Factor 2. In the meantime, happy sim racing. I'll see you out on track. Bye-bye.